get over yours. I'll, I'll check if I'm um, connected one of the pin, other pins to ground there. The cathode, which is just purple wire, I'm pretty sure, goes to ground. Now I'll carefully connect this uh, heater. Now on the um, lead acid battery is not the safest thing to use around high voltage as it can spark and explode, but I don't think a power supply like a computer power supply or switch mode power supply or a linear power supply is going to like a high voltage spark because it will do damage. So unless I use it, um, some alkaline batteries or something like that, a matter of what it is. So I'll just connect this. Heater's on. I did have that connected to the uh, battery ground, but nothing much happened. Heaters are on. NST on. Look at the screen. Whoa! That was cool. That was real cool. I like the effect on that. Alright, turn off, discharge first before I touch anything, discharged, disconnect the battery so the heater's going to be turned off. Right, I'll close the door so I get less light glaring off that screen and might get a bit of a, a better view of what comes on the screen without the heaters connected. The door's closed, nice and dark. Here, another thing you want to be careful of, don't arc directly to ground there, because when the arc heats up the glass will heat up. Of course, it is a CRT under vacuum, and when the glass cracks, it's going to be a bit risky. Even though the implosion band is intact, there's that risk that it could implode and cause quite severe injury. So, be very careful when you're um, treating CRT, uh, CRTs this way. So, always discharge it first before uh, making any approaches to your wiring. Always discharge, because they can pack quite a punch. A lot of heaters are um, disconnected. I might have disconnected completely this time, just for maximum safety precaution. The battery's not going to uh, get sparked or explode, so I'm going to get rid of that, minimise that risk. Alright, power on, high voltage. There you go, just got a red dot. Bit of. There's a lightning on the back of the screen there. I didn't realise that 12 kV NST had a spark gap, something that big. See if I can burn it in. If I hold it directly, there you go. That'll burn in eventually. It'll be a burner um, phosphor. It's going to find a green and blue cathode to try and get all three of them um, going. There you go. Not quite bright enough to burn it in. No, definitely better with a heater sun powered up. Turn it off. I can hear crackling. Still got charge. There you go. There was quite a fair bit of charge in that. Just to be on the safe side. It's discharging through that, so it's dead short when that's the energizer. Uh, secondary winding in that is sufficient to discharge. So make sure I just hold it there just in case. Alright. Let's reconnect the battery for the heater. And there. I'll have to try different pin combinations and see what else I can uh, get. Alright, NST on. That's definitely quite interesting. Directly in the arm. Um, directly. Only works on an arc. That is cool. No deflection, so.
Alright, power off. Discharge a tube. Hold that there for safety. This can be the battery. I'm going to try some other pin combinations. What other pins can I locate in there? See if I can um, ground anything else to, uh, to ground. So I've just got one of the cathodes here to ground on the back of the tube. So hey, hey, uh, HT or high tension, high voltage ground. Because when the neck board has a little uh, high voltage cable from the flyback coming up, which goes into that isolated pin there. So I'm going to try that one in there, which I think is a, to do with the focus. So before I touch any of that, just double check that it is discharged. Okay, have you always got one of the other cathodes I think connected to the ground now? No heaters? Let's see what happens. Okay, nothing. Oh, let's connect, connect the, uh, the heaters. Unplug safety first. Discharge. Hold it there for a bit. Because I will accumulate a little bit of a charge on their own. They basically are a capacitor, so you're going to treat them like a, um, a high voltage capacitor. Alright. I might get an, um, try that. That's only uh, 3 volts, so, so it might not be enough to light the heaters up enough. If I can get a high current output, a uh, high voltage, about 12 volts or something, same as this, high current output transformer. Just feed AC straight through it, and it sh the high voltage back feed from that shouldn't affect the transformer. So there's no um, electronics or diodes to get damaged. There's no explosion, let's get it, so let's turn this NST on. Let's see what this other pin does. Oh, that'll burn in for sure. That's got that's a big that's a blue one. Yeah, that's pretty close to burning the phosphorus. Plug safety first. Discharge. Alright. Then disconnect the battery. After we made sure we're discharged. Again, you gotta watch for x-rays when you do uh, x-rays when you're doing this sort of thing. Bit of heat came off that. Let's try another pin, see what else we can change. Okay, if it was one of the other um, pins are grounded now, let's see what this does. NST on. Interesting. Unplug um, safety first. Have I got enough lead length to do it safely? Let's hold that. Always double check. Alright, disconnect the battery. I've got to come up with a better way of powering up those heaters. Alright, let's try without the heaters this time. Smell the ozone there. Okay, power on. Yeah, the blue is more... Uh, 
that was a blue gun I got on the cafe there. Takes a bit of practice. Uh, I had to find which pins are which cathodes for which of the guns. Thumb plug safety first. Discharge safety first. to approach. Oh, i open the door and get some light in and I'll have a good detailed look at those pins. We'll see which ones are the cathodes but just by looking at the um, tube, the uh, connections inside of the gun assembly. Okay viewers I've got that little ground wire there sitting in the anode cap and that's sitting in there permanently just shorting out this tube from uh, accumulating a charge. That's my safety ground strap. So this pin here goes to the last one which goes through there it goes to one of the things on the gun, it's a bit hard to see this one goes through there comes up to the heater so it's connected to the heater on this one so that's a cathode pin for that one which would be for the red so I think the ones that connect to the heaters are the cathodes so that was a blue gun, that was a red gun. Just got to find which one of these other pins is a green gun. You can see it's got bloody hot, even during normal operation. There's a lot of discoloration on that. I will pull that off so I could see the uh, glowing better. Yeah, there's our electron gun assembly. Pretty interesting stuff. Well, that would be enough for now, so thanks for watching.